Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. It is officially time. I'm so excited to decorate for autumn. I am so excited to swap out my summer flowers and foliage to autumnal foliage browns and creams. I can't wait. I'm so excited to pop pumpkins everywhere in the house. I just love this time of year. I'm in a nice cozy jumper. I've got my Ugg slippers on. I'm in my leggings. I just love this seasonal, like transitional period. Getting into autumn, cozy evenings, crisp mornings, wrapping up. Then it's like the lead up to Christmas and everything. I just love it. Don't get me wrong, love spring and summer as well. Like I've said before, I'm a lover of all the seasons. I just love seasonal styling, but something about just getting into autumn and just, it just, it just gets to me. I just love it. I'm going to be decorating for autumn today. I'm going to show you all of my seasonal styling that I'm putting out this year. And this is like the first vlog that I can actually talk about bump, bumpy, bumpy baby in there. I've been obviously filming whilst being pregnant, but now that the pregnancy first trimester video is live, you'll hopefully have all watched that. It's on my channel if you've not, or if you don't want to, no worries. But yeah, this is the first video where where I don't need to like watch what I'm saying or like hide it or anything. Yeah, me and Bumpy are going to decorate for autumn today. Me and Pumpkin. Shall I call it Pumpkin? I still don't know if it's a boy or a girl. We're finding out soon. But yeah, that's another story. Let's get all cozy. Let's light some candles. Let's get some pumpkins out. And I really hope you enjoy watching my autumn styling. So we got all the pumpkins down. <gasps> this is actually really bad. We got all the pumpkins down from the attic and we spread them out on here just so I could see them all and like decide which ones I'm gonna put out. But this is like this, like there's, there's pumpkins on top of pumpkins on top of pumpkins here. Oh my goodness, is this like really bad? Look at that one. These are some new bits that I, I got sent recently. Some new flowers, love those. I'll definitely be popping those out today. I've got pumpkins of all shapes and sizes here, guys. What do we think? These little acorn. Oh God, there's even pumpkins in there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of pumpkins. So we'll definitely get some of those out. Then I did say to my family, like my family came round this weekend for my birthday. It's just been my birthday, my 27th birthday. Crazy. And they wanted to take some pumpkins. Obviously I have so many. So I will give them some pumpkins for their home. But I said, let me just decide which ones I'm going to put out in my house. And then we'll do like a little pumpkin auction. <laughs> yeah, they're my pumpkins. A little bit excessive. I know. Please don't come at me in the comments. <laughs> And then in here, I've got two boxes of autumn foliage. This just makes me so happy. I actually thought I just had one box, but then when Jake got them down from the loft, there was two boxes. So, yep, double the goodness. I just love the colours. So gorgeous. Oh, I remember these ones. I love those. So beautiful. So we will make up some autumn bouquets with those. I love popping the autumn foliage out. The little berries love it and then let me show you what wreaths I have as well so I've got this wreath that I think oh I don't know I think it was a home sense find and I think this one was a home sense find as well last year I love this little one it's like a half one but just green and white that's really nice isn't it but I, I do like this one it's kind of like muted colors isn't it I can't remember where this one is from I don't know if I got it like a couple of years ago now this one is my dried one from the white company and I don't know I don't know why I always get it out in autumn and winter time I just feel like it lends itself more to autumn and winter rather than like the brighter you know like leafy florals in spring summer so I've got that one as well which is cute for a shelf also got this gorgeous one I think it was from a small business love the colors of this like the greens and the burgundies nice and full I've also got this little mini hoop that I always pop on my peg shelf from Hoops and Home. I've had this one for years now. And then I've got a gorgeous like eucalyptus one as well. And then I also have another one that I bought from Wiggle Baby Girl. Let me show you that one. This is my newest autumn wreath purchase from with love abigail i think it's absolutely gorgeous again it's like a half wreath kind of style 
love the white berries, the muted orangey neutral tones, all the pumpkins on. So I need to decide which one I want on the front door and then which ones I want on the back of doors in the house. Hmm, which one should I have on the front door? Should I have this one? I don't know. I like this one in the house though. For the outside of the house, I think I'm going to pop this green and white one just because I think it goes with the rest of the plants that I've got outside and does it look too like orangey from the doorstep. As for the inside, I used to have this gorgeous white wreath here that a beautiful small business made for me, but I think I'm going to swap it out for the one from Wibble Rabbit Girl, my new one. Let me go and get it. Yes, that is the one. That looks so cute and autumnal already. I love it. I love it. As you guys know, this is my like new and updated like boot room, bootility kind of corner. So it's looking very summified at the minute. So I'm going to swap it out for another autumn wreath. Take this beautiful Gypsy Feeler one away. And I think we'll hang up this autumn one instead. And over here, I'm thinking I'm going to take this away. It's a little pot from Home Sense, and I'm going to swap this summery candle out as well. I'm going to keep the candle plate, but I'll pop an autumnal coloured candle there from Neptune that I got, I must have got like years ago now. And then I think I'm going to put like maybe some pumpkins here to match with my little pumpkin theme. I think I might keep the cushion because it's kind of like neutral and brown anyway. Like I still keep my neutrals, but we'll just, we'll just add some pumpkin. So let me go and choose some from my very big selection. It's such a hard decision because I've got so many, but I think I'm gonna go for these ones. So it's a larger, like lighter cream colored squishy pumpkin and then a little mini like woolen felt pumpkin. I'm just gonna have them there in like a little trio of three with the candle. Cute. And then I've also, if I just move the camera down, I've also got a little shelf there as well, which I've just got my scalloped tray on from b &M, but I might just pop a little pumpkin down there as well with the jug and the candle. I'm gonna pop this one from Hobbycraft, I think it was. I'll just move those back a little bit and then just pop the pumpkin in front like that. <laughs> this is how it's looking. Nice and simple. I'm going to decorate the stairs now. So I always like to have a little seasonal wreath here, like Christmas or autumn, sometimes spring and summer, depending on how I feel. So I always get questions about how I actually tie it to the banister. So I just do like a regular tie around the wreath, but then I get another piece of string and put it in between that loop. And then that's what I tie around the wood. There we go. And I just tie it in a little bow and it just hangs down on the on the pillar like that. In this little basket, I've just got, I'm a bit zoomed in, but I've just got this little like posy of flowers, autumnal flowers. I think it was from With Love Abigail and I just think the tones match. Gosh, I'm really zoomed in. I think the tones match with the wreath quite nicely. So I'll pop those in. And finally for the stairs, I'm going to add some pumpkins and every year I or whenever I post my stairs on Instagram or TikTok with pumpkins on, everyone's like, that is so dangerous, I would trip and fall. But I have to say, we've never tripped and fell, fallen, have we, Jake? We have not. Over the pumpkins. So yes, don't worry about us. We will be fine with the pumpkins on the stairs. <laughs> That ceramic one there at the back, that's my new one from Matalan. The one in front, a uh, family member made for me, and then that one, I think, is from With Love Abbey Girl, but a good few years ago now. Or it could be from another small business, I can't remember. <laughs> then this is opposite the stairs, so this is our little bench area behind the front door, still in the hallway, the bench that my dad made for me. So, I think, what I, what I usually do is just add a couple of little pumpkins here. So I've just got, these ones. This one is a little felt woolen one from the White Company and this one is a little homemade one from a small business and they can just stay there. Nice and cute. Matches with the cushion as well. And then as for down here I might I might keep some bits but I think I'll swap out the terracotta for this little acorn, special acorn from B&M and then 
Am I? I've got this little trio of pumpkins that I got from <laughs> that I got from With Love Abigail, but I might just pop one of them out. I'll just pop that one out, the nice white one, and pop those two in a different place, maybe. But as you guys know, this is our hallway console. I did have another vase here with obviously a spring summer displaying, but when I change the bouquets up, I also like to change the vases up just so it looks like a new refresh styled area so i brought this one in this is i think it's is it bosley no it's not it's haybrook medium vase from neptune i'm going to make up a little bouquet and i think i'm going to use the new stems that i got from homestyle 89 which are these three gorgeous hydrangeas and i think they'll match with the wreath as well obviously with them both being on the same side of the haul and she also sent me these ones at the same time and I remember when I was doing the haul I thought that they'd match quite nicely together in fact I've changed my mind because these are a little bit smaller I think they'll be better for like a jug like jug styling maybe in the kitchen or the living room so I'm going to save those because I really love them I might have those in the living room I'm going to find some more foliage to go with these ones I'm still going to use these ones from Homestyle 89 and I'm going to try and find some like burgundy coloured stones to match with the wreath. These ones are gorgeous, I've got loads of them. They're from a small business called Olive and Wood Interiors. I've had them a few years now and I think we'll create a little arrangement with those. I love how that looks, I like how there's still like cream in it as well, like matching my neutral home but I love that there's just like a pop of autumn colour in there as well so now I'm going to get some little autumn -y accessories for this side of the console so I've just kept the same Neptune vase that I had then and I've just found a little pumpkin for in front and that is a white company candle that has been burnt down quite a bit but it's still going so I save it every year and I've just got it on a white company candle plate as well. So I have just made up this little autumn arrangement. I've used a variety of different stems. I think the hydrangeas were with Love Abigail. These, these rainbow ones, actually these rainbow eucalyptus, they're from Dunelm. Maybe they're still on the website. They could be from Dunelm as well, you know, actually. Now I think about it, and I think the brown leaves were from a small business, but I think they were from Dunelm. I think I might get some more of those because I really like those. And then I've just got another little knitted pumpkin here. It's got a little jute ribbon on it, which is so cute, and I'm just going to pop that at the side. And then I've also found this little bowl. This bowl is from the White Company, and inside I've just popped three white pumpkins. They came as a set of three from a small business. I'm just going to pop that down there. I might change the bowl out. In fact, what I might do is not put the white on the white. What I might do is pop some acorns in here. Bear with me. Let me go and find, you know, like a colour contrast. Let me go and find some acorns. This is way better. So these little hanging acorns I got last year from Next, And I think that looks better, the brown on the white. So I'm just going to pop that on the bottom of the table there. And then I've just got a few little bits for... The side of the TV stand. So this is my white company hurricane, but I've swapped it out for an autumnal candle that I actually painted <laughs> last year. I just thought the little leafy autumn pattern looked quite cute through the glass. And then of course, another cream pumpkin. She can just sit there and then I've just got a little candle there. Ooh, it's exciting. I'm in a bit of an awkward position here, but this is my little light up pumpkin that's from Homestyle 89. I love it so much, little pumpkin fairy house. So I'm popping that on the TV stand there. And then I've pretty much kept a lot of the same things. I've got my scallop tray and my little like scalloped pot, but I've just added another little pumpkin to the bottom shelf. Cause it's, I don't want it to like, I don't want to get rid of all my neutral decor, but I do want to add pumpkins where I can. And then I've also added these ones. I'll just pick the camera up to show you. At this side, I've kept that rustic candle that I got from the Cotswolds and then I've just added this little pair of matching pumpkins, again, from a small business. So over on the poof, I found this autumn candle in my cupboard, but it's all gone. But what I think I'm gonna do is that little hack 
that someone told me about on YouTube. So just pop a tea light in there and then it, you can still use it and it still glows and it's like still a nice awesome candle because this one is just too cute to throw away. Is it focused? There we go. I might be able to get another one actually. It was from Tesco. Whether they still have it, I don't know, but I love this so much and it matches the decor just perfectly. I've only just bought this vase from Laura Ashley when I went shopping with mum, so I'm going to keep that there still. I've added the white company box at the bottom, but like I mentioned, I'm going to pop these hydrangeas that I got from Homestyle 89 in there. They're nice and mini, so I feel like they're the perfect size for like jug flowers. Oh, that looks so cute. I love those so much. They're perfect. And then, of course, we have to pop a pumpkin in, don't we? I'm still in the living room. This is like the little table next to the couch. I've still got this little, let's move the camera down, rattan tray that's from Boxwood Home Interiors. And I've just popped this vase in here. This one was in the hallways, but I've swapped it for the living room. This is another Neptune vase. And then inside, I've just got these lovely burgundy eucalyptus stems with like these little seeded bits on. I think they look lovely. Just three of them, but the branches are so big and long. I feel like it spreads out nicely. It feels a bit wobbly, actually, this table. Might need a little something underneath. And then I've just got my Neptune candle in, I think this is from H&M Home actually, this little candle plate. And I've also got a pumpkin from Hobbycraft there. And then at the bottom, I don't know if you can see there, but I always tend to have this bowl here, but I've just got some of these jute pumpkins. Now I can't remember whether they were from Hobbycraft or Amazon. But I've got tons of them and I've no idea where they're from but I've got five of them in this bowl now just for a bit of extra colour and a bit of autumnness, more autumnness. <laughs> so this is how the living room is looking, all very cosy and autumnal. I've lit some candles and I've also popped here one of my big pumpkins in a basket. I just think that adds a nice neutral autumnal touch. But yeah, I just love how cosy it looks in here. Jake says, how is it officially turned to autumn in the house? Just goes to show what a few little pumpkins and autumn foliage can do to make it feel like autumn. Oh, and I've also taken down a little summer display and just popped a Neptune plant pot there and this gorgeous pumpkin that I think was from Scarlabel Home either last year or the year before. This is my little kitchen corner. I've just added this adorable pumpkin tea towel to my little basket of well, what have we got here, hand soap, dish soap and Zaflora and it looks so cute with a little pumpkin towel sticking out and I think I'm going to have these brown stems here in the corner to hide the Alexa again I'm so sorry I can't remember where the brown stems are from but they are gorgeous and they look super Realistic, this is another Neptune vase. <laughs> Found this little candle that says pumpkin season. I think it was from the range. So I'm gonna pop that there. And then this is my new White Company pumpkin that they've just brought out this year. It was eight pound. It's like a kind of textured ceramic. So I'm just gonna pop that there as well. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day now, obviously still in the same video for you, but I had to stop doing the decorating yesterday because we had to go out. Um, for some more of my birthday celebrations. So I'm carrying on today, that's why I'm just seeing a little bit of a different outfit. I'm in this little Abercrombie hoodie that I got for my birthday from Jake's mum and some Jilly Hicks leggings which are so comfy. So we were onto the kitchen so I'm going to show you what else I'm going to put out in the kitchen and then we'll do the downstairs toilet and then I think we'll leave it there. I think we'll maybe do upstairs in another video. Although upstairs, to be fair, there's only the bedroom, the ensuite and the landing so Maybe I could just like show you in another vlog or something. So let's get started on the rest of the kitchen. So I think I showed you this yesterday. We also added this little pumpkin board. I think it was from Home Bargains. I think it was like 5 dollars from Home Bargains last year. And then pumpkin season candle, which was from the range. And then the White Company pumpkin, new in this year. And then yesterday I also added in this like rust coloured pumpkin as I thought it matched with the stems really nicely and matched with my little neutral pieces behind. So for the middle of the windowsill I think I'm going to have my autumn tree out again because I've got some little mini like ceramic autumn pumpkin hanging things so I always like to create this. I think I did it last year, I think I had it on the windowsill last year as well actually, just repeating myself. But for these lovely wooden 
well not wooden, they're like plastic, brown stems, you look very realistic like I've just been foraging in the forest and this vase is from Next, these are from With Love Abigail by the way, these stems, I don't know if she still sells them, she might be to be fair, but I thought I'd have that there on the windowsill and then I've got these, these are from With Love Abigail as well, these are little ceramic hanging acorns and also, ah, oh my god, pumpkins, <laughs> didn't drop any. So I think I'll add those to the branches, uh, I think that'll just, it just makes it feel a little bit more autumnal but still quite neutral, but I really like the bare branches as well, I think it looks really like cosy and crisp. Just add a few on, I think there's only three pumpkins and three acorns, the only thing is they're quite heavy so you have to put them towards like the in, inner part of the branch so that they don't make the branch all flappy. <laughs> So as for this little corner, I've got a few little autumn pumpkin -y things here. I think I'm going to have my two acorn jars here on the other side of the windowsill. And I know it's like white on white, but I do have this bowl that I had out last year as well. It's just like a brown, like wooden bowl with these three pumpkins in. They didn't come together, but I thought it's quite nice. I like having a bowl of pumpkins or like a bowl of pine cones at Christmas. I just like having a bowl, bowls of seasonal things. So I think I'll pop that there just in front. Cute. And then I don't know where, I, oh, next. I was going to say I don't know where I got it from. This is like a little pumpkin ramekin or like pie dish or a little apple crumble pot thing. So I'm going to pop that here next to my shovel board from Just So Interiors and then I've got a fireside candle as well. Got these two white pumpkin jars as well. I think they're from a small business. You can put like sweets in them and stuff. I just like to have them out on show. I think we'll have the big one there. Again, just a little hint of autumn. And then in there I normally have a little Neptune pot, but that is literally the perfect size for in there with my salt and pepper shakers. Cute. We also have this, which we did use last night, hence why it's got tea bag stains on it. I think I got it from Tesco. I like swap out my tea bag holders depending on the season, and this leaf one is just so cute. So I'll just have that near the kettle there. And I always like to have something on the cooker. This is my scalloped basket from Matalan that we all know and love. And I've just got this Neptune vase, and I've popped one of these like chocolate toffee coloured peonies in. I got this from With Love Abigail years ago. I got a set of three actually. I popped the other two on the, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Baby brain. Stairs window that you can actually see from the front of the house. I've popped two in there just so it looks a little bit autumnal from the outside of the house, but I'm gonna save one of them for here just as a little pop of like orangey browns amongst all my neutrals. I feel like that looks very cozy and autumnal. Not much different over here, but I did pop my little mini wreath from Hoops and Home, my autumnal one, on this peg shelf that Dad made for me. And I've kept the Neptune bag because I feel like the pinks go with the burgundies anyway. So I might add like a little tea towel or something to there in the future, but for now, I just like how simple that looks. For my dining table, I'm still keeping the same basket. Love this basket, it's so gorgeous. I'm still keeping that and I'm still keeping the same part actually, but I've just taken out those summery stems. They were like little like Cosmo daisy things, Cosmos daisy things. Although they could work in autumn because they did have a little slight creamy tinge to them, but I thought this amber hydrangea looked really cute, just poking out the top. And then a little pumpkin. I've got a set of three of these wooden pumpkins from Olive and Wood Interiors. And I have already done the shelf. I did it last night. I say I. Jake did it because he didn't want me climbing up <laughs> on the chairs and the table, which is what I normally have to do to do this shelf. I don't mind, obviously, but with being pregnant, Jake's like, nope, I'm doing it. <laughs> He's the protective husband, protective dad. <laughs> so I was like, left a little bit, right a little bit. No, let's change it up. Oh, wait, let me get some Vidal. So he was very patient with me whilst I was decorating my autumn shelf. You might recognize some bits that I've kept, like the little string tidy and the vintage jug from With Love Abigail, but I have added a few extra bits. So this is my little Halloween 
pumpkin frame that I got from With Love Abigail. I think it was only like £9 and then I got like a good discount off it as well. Hope there's no dust on this shelf. <laughs> and I knew it would look so lovely on the shelf with all my other neutral bits. I just think it looks really nice and neutral, blends in really nicely but also gives a little hint to autumn. I love how it says autumn is my favourite colour. And then I've just got one of these tea towels. Can't remember where they're from. I want to say H&M maybe. A little brown gingham tea towel. I've got my autumn mini reef there from Small Business. And a little hanging wooden bristle brush. And then this little trio in the middle. We've got my neutral bowls. I think they were from Home Sense a while back. A little white pumpkin of course. And then one of my little rustique pots in the background and then over at this side I've changed up a little bit I've brought down my white company wreath which like I said just I feel like just lends itself to autumn and doesn't it just match so nicely with all the neutrals up there I'm obsessed this scalloped pot which has been living upstairs but like I've mentioned before on my channel I like to move things around and I just feel like it's a brand new scallop pot that I've got in the kitchen even though it's been upstairs for months so I'm so happy to see that down here and then another matching pumpkin, a nice cream one with a neutral stalk. I think that one was from with Love Abigail as well. And then I've still got my little Neptune milk jug hung up on there as well. I feel like it still matches with everything. And this is a little wide view shot of how the kitchen is looking. It is giving me ultimate cosy vibes. I love it when the house is like freshly decorated for a new season. It's such a faff doing it, not gonna lie. Like it's such a faff, like getting rid of all my summer stems and like green decor, you know, like summery decor. But once it's done, I am just obsessed. There's a spider up there. Can you see it on the, on the wall up there? I need Jake to get that and let it outside. But I'm just, I love, I love, I love it all. Love how it's still neutral, but just like pops of autumn like the pop of the stems and like the pop of the wreath. Little white pumpkins everywhere. I just think it looks so cute. So let me know what you think guys. And now let's move on to the downstairs bathroom and then that will be the whole of the downstairs done. So we're in the bathroom now. Some of you might remember that literally in, I think not last video, the video before, I only just put this out, my new soap dish from the Cotswolds. But I do have these little mini pumpkin bowls and this is the smallest one so I thought that it would be so cute to just change it up for the soap holder have the little pumpkin bowl there with the soap in as you guys know it's just for show but I think it looks so cute so as for these shelves I already have a few bits out I've already got my fireside spray out it smells so nice this this room spray oh that just reminds me of like cozy months smells so good but I have got a I have got a few autumnal things down here that I'm going to pop out. So I've got the other bowl, the bigger version of... Ooh, what? what is wrong with me today? Why do I keep dropping things? <laughs> and yesterday as well. I've got the bigger version of that bowl and inside I've got some... I think I got them last year from a small business. They're like mini like white acorns and also mini pine cones. And I actually sprayed them with Fireside. And they do still smell of it actually. Sprayed them last night. So I'm gonna pop that in here. Kind of like pop puree type thing, I don't know. Just pop like puree. Huh? Potpourri, you mean. Oh potpourri. Pop puree. Pop puree. No. Is it not? No. What is it? Potpourri. 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 I always used to say pop puree. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sure my mum says pop puree. No. Right, well, there's some potpourri now in the downstairs loo. <laughs> I also have a white pumpkin candle. I think these were a Primark find a couple of years ago. Pop that on a little candle plate up there. Probably won't light it unless we've got guests over. But then even so, probably won't light it because like we'd leave it for an hour and it would just be like a mush, wouldn't it? I've also got another white ceramic pumpkin. I think we'll have him there. And then I've also got a candle that I found in my candle cupboard from Kindred Fires. It's an autumn one that they sent me. Moonlit Wonder smells so nice and I love the amber glass as well. I think it just adds a little cosy touch to the downstairs loo and then with this little vase up here if you can see. I can't remember, I think it has some like summer stems in it but I'm just going to swap it out for this little autumn eucalyptus twig and just have it at a little angle like that. 
freaking very, 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 very cosy. Love it. This is like the tiniest room ever, and I've got the world's biggest tripod, but hopefully you can see this. So this is my shelf. The toilet is just below, and this is my shelf above the toilet. So I've got my Neptune candle there as always, and I've got another one of those wooden pumpkins from Olive and Wood Interiors. And then I thought I would just add a little bit more colour and have this vase here from Harrison Crapper Interiors it is. I think they still sell it as well. Such a gorgeous, like, classic staple vase. And then I've got some little, like, blueberry. I don't know if it's blueberry. It's probably not blueberry, knowing me. Like, berry. Blue berry stems. <laughs> it's, like, flopping out like that. I think that looks really nice. Again, just adds a bit of that autumnal, like, darker vibe. Oh, so I think it all looks so cosy. We've got our gender reveal party in a couple of weeks and obviously everyone's going to be like in the house and why am I excited for people to go to the toilet now to see all the autumn decor that I've popped in here. <laughs> so that is the end of the video guys. I really hope you enjoyed decorating for autumn with me and Bump today. The camera down so you can see it's looking a little bit bumpy today. Do let me know what you thought of all of my autumn styling in the comments down below. Let me know, have you started decorating for autumn yet? I always like to start like beginning of September because obviously pumpkins and like orangey sort of brownie stems you can only have out until Halloween and then as soon as November the 1st is here it's like Merry Christmas isn't it? So you've only got that two month window to enjoy the pumpkins and everything so I always like to start early so I can enjoy it for longer but yeah let me know if you've started decorating yet or if you are more of an October autumn decorator let me know in the comments and I will see you very soon with a brand new cozy video bye